Hi, I'm Mike Hughes, partner for Life Horsemanship. The other day, a good friend of mine, Sarah from the United Kingdom, was telling me about how her horse became aggressive. She told me that the horse would strike, it would bite, kick, and charge her and other people from inside the pasture and on the other side of the fence or on the other side of the gate. So I told her my crew and I would get together and we would do a video of how I train horses to go from being aggressive to being submissive. The horse you're going to see in this video is a 15 year old stallion paint. It became aggressive after abuse, neglect, confinement, and he was isolated from all other horses. The techniques you're going to see me use in this video are very gentle but also very firm. If you don't feel comfortable doing any of these exercises at any time, please hire a professional horse trainer. Also, if you have a problem with your horse of any kind, please subscribe to my page, leave me a message in my inbox, and I will, my crew and I will do a video on that problem and we'll post it up on YouTube so you'll know how to correct the problem. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy the video. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so what I'm about to do is I'm going to walk up to the horse and get him away from me and ask him to leave because I definitely do not want him facing me. So there you saw me throw my lariat at him. This is the hind legs. I got him away from me and now I'm going to go ahead and start approaching him. As you can see as I start approaching him here in a second he's going to come back at me right there and I'm going to slap the lariat against my leg and get him away from me. From here I'm going to do outside turns. I know a lot of people don't like outside turns um, but they are a very submissive maneuver uh, to do with any horse and um, you would never want to have an aggressive horse do an inside turn towards you because you'd just be lining them up to charge you. Here he challenges me. He doesn't want to do the outside turn. He does not want to submit. Um, but I keep the pressure on until he does the outside turn. And then we just continue doing outside turns from here on uh, for a little bit. Uh, I want to teach him a pattern control, and by having him do the outside turns again, he be you know he will become very submissive. Um, you know he can't charge me if he's turning away from me, and I am staying at least 20 feet back from his hind legs in case he says I don't want to and kicks out. So always stay you know 15 feet at least 15 feet behind the horse uh, when you're doing your inside or excuse me when you're doing your outside turns. All right, so we, we did plenty of outside turns. Now I'm going on to the next step because he started becoming submissive and I want to teach him how to face me and be obedient. So I'm, I'm walking to the side and I'm also making a kissing noise and he faces me, uh, as you can see in this part of the video. So as we go on here, I'm gonna have him face me again here in just a minute, but he decides you know, he wants to turn away from me as he is doing there and I'm going to go back to doing you know outside turns because not now he wants to ignore me which I'd rather him do an outside turn and come and get me but now we've already moved on to the next step but we had to go back and repeat this exercise just a little bit more so continue with your outside turns again inside turns is just going to set the horse up to charge you and I guarantee you he can make it to you a lot faster than you can make it to him. Now I have established the control and the pecking order. Um, I'm inviting him back in to the herd. I'm inviting him to come with me although you can see me keep looking around there to make sure that he's not becoming aggressive. Um, his head is down. He looks really good um, and he just learned a pretty major lesson in that uh, lesson in that he, um, that I control the pecking order and he does not. So now I do have him facing me, but you can tell in this picture he's not acting aggressive, he's not challenging me. Now I'm going to work on his attention. Working on his attention, no matter where I move, I want him staying where he's at, but I want him facing me. And there he goes, and he just sits there and he faces me. I'm happy with that. Um, he looks good. He doesn't look um, stressed out. He doesn't look aggressive in this shot. His head is down. 
So he's looking pretty good at this point. And we'll continue on here in a minute with the video. At the same time I was doing this video, I was also talking to a very large crowd on how to work with a aggressive horse and have them become submissive. So now I'm moving back the other direction and he continues facing me. And this is very submissive also. And I'm also keeping this attention on me, establishing uh, the pecking order. During these exercises, you don't necessarily have to do the beginning exercises. Uh, like I did inside the pasture when asking him to leave. Um, you can do it from the other side of the fence, the other side of the gate, as long as he learns to leave when you ask him to leave. And that's the most important part when you're working with the aggressive horse. Uh, by no means ever put yourself in danger. If you don't feel comfortable doing these exercises, uh, hire a professional horse trainer. Um, you don't absolutely have to do it inside the stall or inside the pasture. It can be done in the stall, round pen, arena, whatnot. Now he's being very submissive and he's coming up to me in a very submissive manner and that's what I wanted out of him. Uh, this horse that you're watching on the video has hospitalized a lot of different people for being so aggressive, including other horse trainers, um, vets. He would run across the pasture and kick you. He'd charge you. He would strike, uh, whatnot. So here I'm, I'm making a lot of progress with him. This is probably 30 minutes into the training session that I started with him. And I'm really, really liking the progress that he has made uh, within the last 30 minutes up to this point. Um, he was also, again, abused, so he is head near shy there. He keeps trying to, you know, take his head away from me. Doesn't want to be really touched. But now he's allowing me to touch him on the head, which is good. And he keeps wanting to turn his head away from me which, you know, it just comes from the abuse that people did on him. Um, again, there's really never any reason to abuse any horse. Um, you know, it's just, it's not tolerated. And, you know, after a while there he steps away from me, but I'm going to ask him to come back to me now, and he does. So he's, he's, he's really trying in this video. You know, he's really trying to come back to me. He, he just, he's just, you know, been so horribly abused and neglected. You know, he just, he's just so confused. He doesn't r realize that, you know, I'm not going to hurt him and that he can trust me. And then there, there's a good one. He lowered his head and let me pet him on the head. Uh, that was a really good uh, progress right there. But then again, as you saw, he throws his head up in the air and now he won't let me touch him again. You know, he just wants to, he doesn't want me to have anything to do with him. But then again, you know, if he steps away like that, I'm just going to step back. I'm going to kiss to him. I'm going to have him face me again. There we go. And, you know, the whole, I know this is only a 13-minute video, but, you know, it took me right around 40, 45 minutes uh, to get through this, train, this first lesson with him. And he's, you know, he's so willing, and he so wants to try, he's just not sure, you know, and how sad is that, but he's in a much better home today, um, we spent many, many hours with him, and he finally made it through it, okay, so here we're going to start asking him to drop his head, which is also a very submissive maneuver, uh, when I asked the horse to drop his head, they got to automatically relax, they got to calm down, it was proven in the 1990s when a horse drops its head that there's a common endorphin release that goes to the horse's brain that relaxes them. So I'm going to work on this uh, segment for a little bit. Um, all I'm doing is putting a little bit of pressure on the lead rope in a downward manner. I'm not pulling down, I'm just putting pressure. And as soon as those ears or his head drops even a quarter of an inch release, eventually you'll get down further and further and further and further. And, you know, eventually you could have his nose on the ground. And he's just going to leave it there. And that's a very, very submissive. So right there, you know, he's lowered just a little bit. There he did a little bit more. And then he raised it again because he, uh, he's going, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. But he, he's so willing now. 
and he, you know, from the beginning when you saw the video, you saw how he challenged me, you saw how he didn't want to be around me, but now he's just, you know, a great horse. And now we're going to go to my hands on his head, and you'll see him try to yank away from me right there. You know, that, that, that's from abuse. And so I'm just going to keep with it. I'm not going to get upset at him. I can't get mad at him. Certainly not going to cause him pain. I'm just going to keep working with him to get his head down and work with those ears now because he's ear shy. Um, there he goes. That's a good boy. Any horse that is ear shy, I mean, I would never get on because... You know, an ear shy horse will get you bucked off just as fast as any other horse. So what I'm doing here is I'm just placing my, resting my hands on his head. I'm not pushing him down or anything. Just resting my hand there, my hands there, until he drops his head. And second you drop his head, take your hands off. If you're not pushing down, what will happen is when you put your hand on, one hand on the bridge of his nose, other hand on his pole, and he drops his head, your hand should just stay there if you're not pushing down. So don't put pressure, just rest him. All you have to do right there, all you have to do is rest him. And as soon as his head drops, you know, take your hands away right there. That's a really good uh, part. And, you know, he's really trying to overcome his uh, head shyness. He's really trying hard. Um, you know, we got to really, there, there is a good shot. So I was going to say, we got to really feel bad for these horses that were abused. You know, this stallion is just a beautiful stallion. Um, just gorgeous and you know just horribly mistreated isolation um, you know they isolated him from all the horses for years and years he spent you know most of his life inside a stall before the new owners bought him um, neglect his hooves were a mess uh, he was beaten just so sad and now in this picture I got his head way down and he's looking really nice here. Now I can finally run my hands over his ears. And he's just standing there, you know, accepting it. What a great, what a great boy there. You know, and again, this was within 45 minutes. Going from being aggressive, now he's being submissive. He's uh, doing really well. And his progress is, you know, unbelievable. And it's amazing how fast these horses will forgive us for what we've done. I'm not saying you did or I did something horrible to the horse. But the, uh, to the horse, people are people. They don't know me from you, from anybody else. They just think they're going to get hurt when they see a person around. So th th this is pretty good right here. I'm happy with the progress. Um, at this point... You know, we're, we're almost done uh, with the first lesson. Um, and another thing, you know, this poor horse, again, you know, wore a halter most of his life. It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing the halter didn't get embedded into his nose, embedded into his thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there'll be a lot of other videos coming up soon, and I hope you enjoyed it.